welcome to this month's Jewelry Freight Loop, which will look at the impact on container shipping of Iranian attacks and the growing Iran-Israel political tensions. My name is Philippe Damas, Head of Jewelry Supply Chain Advisors and Jewelry My Time Research Containers, and I will share with you now insight into how growing risks and attacks on container ships in and around the Strait of Hormuz and the potential closure of the Strait of Hormuz should now be considered. First, Iran's attack on Israel and its capture of the container ship widened the risk area eastwards from the Suez Canal Red Sea area to the entire Gulf Strait of Hormuz region. Gateway, meaning non transshipment to container traffic, to and from the Gulf ports, accounts for 3% of global container traffic. That's a total market of 17 million TEU. You can see the respective container volumes by country on this chart, using data from the Drury Ports and Terminals Insight. Free navigation through the Strait of Hormuz to and from the Gulf ports is vital for the oil and gas sector and for the global economy. Closing the strait would have a wider disastrous effect on the global economy beyond shipping. So the seizure of a 15,000 TU MSC areas on 13th of April and the threat by Iran to close the strait potentially threaten a very large share of Middle East container trade because there are few suitable alternative routes or gateways. For container shipping lines, the impact of further attacks on container ships in the Gulf or the potential closure of the Strait of Hormuz even for a few days would be multiple. The carriers in particular may divert some large ships or services from the Gulf side UAE ports inside the Strait of Hormuz to UAE and Omani ports located outside the Strait, possibly as a short-term contingency measure while the situation evolves. For ports inside the Gulf, this may lead to the transfer of a loss or some transshipment volumes to hubs which are deemed safer or to the loss of some gateway cargo to alternative ports. Fortunately, there is quite a lot of latent port capacity at container ports located outside the strait, but it would take some time to ramp up the capacity. Viable options for UAE ports inside the Gulf as alternatives are Khan, operated by Gulftainer, Fujairah, operated by Abu Dhabi ports, and Sohar in Oman, operated by Hutchison. Of course, even transferring port traffic from UAE Gulf ports to those outside the Strait of Hormuz would not address the situation of ports in the upper Gulf. Then, for shippers and forwarders, there will also be a multiple impact such as risk of discontinuation, possibly short-term of some carrier services, new surcharges, we already heard some new surcharges to Damam, higher ocean freight rates, higher inland transport costs, higher fuel charges, and longer lead times and disruptions. Joey's view is that if things get bad, large cost increases and supply chain issues will mean shipping bottlenecks and lower exports from the Gulf for price-sensitive commodities. We do not know how much worse this will get, and a lot will depend on the political and military developments. Drury will provide follow-up analysis of these developments as they evolve and how they affect market forecasts in the next Drury Container Forecaster and Ports and Terminal Insight research products. Thank you.